my treasure welcome back to another mini unboxing video and in today's mini unboxing video i finally have the first version of nagi look a figure let me hear me out okay hear me out when these were first announced i tried to get them but i was only able to get chigiri and then later on i was able to get bashira and isagi and they announced also a Rio lookup figure and a Nagi Wave 2 lookup figure. And I thought that that was the same one as in the first wave. So I was like, you know what? I don't mind waiting because I do not want to pay scalper prices because the Blue Lock lookup figures are going for scalper prices. Do not, do not buy into that. I did, by the way, buy into that for this one. But, but here we are. I thought, hear me out, okay. I thought that they were exactly the same, but they're different. They're different. The first wave looks completely different than the second wave because the face is different. He has his mouth open here. He has his mouth closed on the other one. And I know, I know what you're thinking. Why? Hear me out. They're not making this wave anymore. And I also need my Nagi like this, okay? I have said goodbye to Nendroids, but therefore, I will go above and beyond to get all the lookup figures that I want, okay? So we know. And most lookup figures actually do a dramatical price drop all the time. Um, except for the blue lock ones. I don't know why. Well, I don't know why, because they're sold out. <laughs> but most blue lock or lookup figures go down in price so a lot of lookup figures i actually got for below retail price so this is how i'm justifying that i paid a bit more for this one because lookup figures are priced 4400 yen i think some are priced a bit more cheaper around the 4000 mark but i think it's still than 4400 because of 10 percent taxes in japan and i paid for this one including my taxes okay so i paid for this one which is new in box <laughs> six thousand yen yes i know i paid a lot more for this one but i really wanted to complete my collection i love lookup figures i use them also a lot the, i have a very pretty lineup of lookup figures here in front of me right so i have i have the power lookup figure i also have <laughs> The, you know, like the Toji lookup figure I have here in front of me. Also from Hell's Paradise. I, I want all those lookup figures, by the way. But I'm going to buy them in Japan because I'm not going to pay, you know, like over the top prices. And I don't mind getting them, you know, like secondhand that the box has been opened, but they're still in good quality. And of course, I have here, I even have this, the Twisted Wonderland, right? See, see this is how much I love lookup figures. And I have more. I have more from JJK. I have the Windbreakers on pre-order. And I have, see, I have Isagi. I have, I have Chiki. Look, I have Chiki. And I have Bashira. So, I needed to complete this lineup. Look, look at how cute. I'm trying to justify this, okay? So, just, just hear my rant out. This is my, this is me trying to justify why for the first, no, the second time in my life, I paid more than retail price for something. So I paid more than retail price for the 15th anniversary Pretty Cure Commune because I'm an idiot. Anyway, they're, they're, you're not able to get them, right? So I, I still got them actually for for like 2,000 yen more than retail price. And these things were already expensive. So what I, of course, learned from that is immediately pre-order the 20th anniversary commune so that, you know, like you don't pay scalper prices, which was a good thing because <laughs> that one also went up in price and I really wanted that one. Um, so yeah, so this is the second time in my life that I'm buying something for more than retail price. No, I'm not going to make this a standard okay because you know what i do not want to buy into scalpers but the seller of this one it didn't really feel like scalper I, you know <sighs> they were the cheapest one right even when i was looking second hand second half all of them were much more expensive this one really really i know 
And now I'm going against my principles and oh, look at it. Oh, I love it so much. I'm going against my principles, but you know what? For Nagi, I will go outside my principles if I have to. And by the way, it's my own, own fault, right? Um, well, it's not my own fault. I wasn't able to order them. Uh, <laughs> but it's my own fault that I paid more than retail price for it because, uh, yeah, I couldn't find it for cheaper. Uh, but then again, I got it completely new. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> This is just the Dutch person in me, you know, like, why did you pay more than retail price? You always pay less than retail price. Why do you pay more? You always bargain hunt, right? For the things that I already want. Just, just to clarify again, I don't buy stuff because it's on sale. I like something and I wait for it. If I don't really need it now, I'll wait for it to go for a price, which I'm willing to spend for it. Um, and sometimes I wait even more because again, I'm Dutch. Okay. I am very, uh, very cost conscious <laughs> when it comes to Nagi. It's, he's my weakness, right? It's, it's like with your kids, right? I have the same thing with my kids. Like I buy 15 euro shoes, right? Or I, if, if I buy expensive shoes, I will, I will wear them for 20 years. <laughs> but when your kids want something, it's like, I want this one. And it's like, Eight times the price that you pay for your and you're like okay i can't say no to my kids um i can't say no i can't say no to myself but i cannot say no to my kids and and that he feels like you know like the the son i never had <laughs> look at it <laughs> and nagi does remind me have some has some cur you know like some character traits that i do also see in my kids so therefore i just can't just can, can persist I just can't resist Nagi. Look at it. I was like, <laughs> okay, let's let's have a quick look at this lookup figure, and then we're gonna close off this video. Lookup figures. I can't say enough about them. They're amazing. They are so fun to take along with you on your trip to post them everywhere, uh, to have them. You know, like have cute dialogues. I just I just love lookup figures, right? So this one really. It's like, I'm sad. And this one is even like, I'm, I'm kind of angry now. And this one is like, I'm so hopeful. I need you. <laughs> and then if we, if we tilt it a bit more that way, it's like, huh? Are you okay? <laughs> See how many expressions lookup figures have. They have just too many expressions. <laughs> and this one is just so super adorable. I, I just can't look at the back. Look at the back side. Ah. There's just enough details on these lookup figures that you're like, you know, it is that character, but there's just, there's not a lot happening. And of course you can switch the heads off very easily, right? So I can, I can, I can give the Nagi body to, uh, to, to, to Bashira. Look, see, now you can do the same thing as an Android. But what I do actually hope is that they might, you know, like make, um, separate body parts so that, you know, like we can also put him on oh, that would be so nice that we can also put him on um on the uh manshine city of oh my gosh okay mega house listen up listen up. listen 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 hey listen make a lower body for nagi once you know like i guess that's gonna be in the in in the in the third season but okay make a lookup figure and, and and i don't need the top part right because you already have two head pieces soon Make a lower part, which has men. Oh, that would be so awesome because you can also do it for Tiggy. Mm -hmm. And also for Rio. Oh, now I want it for everybody. <laughs> I do hope Mega House is going to make, you know, like. So they're going to do, of course, Sei and Rin. They're going to add Rio and another Nagi headpiece. I'm missing Kunigami. I'm missing my boy Kunigami. So here's hoping that I get Kunigami. <gasps> How how fun would it be if it would be Kunigami and Shido? Oh my gosh. That's going to be... How would Shido look in a lookup figure? I have already a feeling how Kunigami looks in a lookup figure, right? Because I do have a lot of mini figures from Kunigami. But how would, you know, like how would Say look? Because he would look like this, right? Kunigami, but... Oh, can't wait for it. But yeah, that was it for this unboxing video of the Anagi lookup figure. 
let me know. Do you also have the Nagi look up figure? And if so, do you also find him very adorable? But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I say, kiss you, love you.